Hey, Pink Falls. Fiala here. I'm basically doing a video review. So I'm reviewing the Trip the G1 Trip Trip G1 Star Screen figure. It's actually a reissue of a it's basically one more exclusive reissue of the kit of the figure. So by the time I'm reviewing I'm just yeah, it's going to attend is the actual G1 figure. So yeah, if you haven't seen my review of this figure, <clears throat> um, it's, it, it's, it was, it's, it was somewhat in my review of, no, in my, in my, in the review of my Star Screen channel. I have, I used to post it in me before. Let's just do it, shall we? So, we have an old Scuba here. We have kind of a Star Screen. And jet mode, and it's pretty good, I guess. Well, jet mode is actually pretty good, I actually. Yeah. And of course, is noise. Yes. And also, also actually, actually, those are noise. This is actually. The Make sure it is gun board. Yep. The only time we get is actually it's actually different between this between the reissue and the picture and the original G1 version. It doesn't come with Megatron. Yeah, this is Megatron is gun board. Basically almost hitting the but calling up hitting it we can get no the stuff from here. But we all doubt it. We all definitely doubt it. We could actually get a G1. Uh, but I'm still hoping we could get a G1 Megatron. Or a reissue of a G1 Megatron. And it's gun mode. Yeah, I don't know why it's actually like this. But, anyways. So let's look at the box itself. Before we look at it. That's the thing that's under it. Box we have this box. Starscreen is high. Anyway, <coughs> that box I have Starscreen, which is Starscreen. The side has Starscreen. Yes, I stepped the front of Starscreen. The side. Other side. And then his the back. Okay, the back. I actually have Starscream using the old Decepticon I believe it's an extra one Here's Office Prime I don't know this Okay, I can tell Actually that's my turn right there I get Starscream and Starscream and Starscream I don't know now, let me the figure itself. <clears throat> now, once again, the figure is actually to come with the hands. As you can with these hands. Yeah, it also comes with the little short normally thing, but they look kind of made of wonky. And they also come with make sure it's done. It's vehicle mode. It's pretty good. Now, the transform on him. <clears throat> and of course, I had to use the US guy before. When we on May two on in two thousand nineteen or twenty, I have a US guy. And of course, I was gonna said I was gonna just yeah, yeah let's go, let's go do it. Make you say on the transform. Make you turn from a finger on this channel. Why do you this channel is somewhat nice to me, but yeah, I could review some figures that are not nice to me, but mainly a transform figure. And one of them I felt like is some extra. I don't know, maybe the reason why I'm making this here because, well, it's for some reason I have some ideas to review the same before. And yet, I'm reviewing Old Screamer here. For 
some of these. Do this, this, pretty much this one. I'm just gonna move the wings and put it like this. This and try not to break this figure. Mind you, it's not actually the only point actually. Well, you know, the figures are, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually it's a reason. To them, 19 actually, 19 or 18. It depends. Uh, depends if the year does thing. If the year does thing, come this, this, and well, it's, it's, well, I like to be careful with my stars a little bit. And here we have. Here we have. Good old Screamer or Star Scream, also Megatron. So, if I got Star Scream and Robot Mode, and it's decent. Mind you, I don't actually grew up with these other figures, but eh, I actually kind of like Star I actually kind of got, I kind of got one of the secret thingy. Star Scream. Yep, I have gain I have gain well Star Scream and Marjorie was gonna get well this apparently a Megatron but Yeah, nothing and nothing happened because I figured it was cost so much money and I did find this I figured oh, on it I thought I say always found a Megatron figure and come from one made for but that cost so but that well that thing cost a bit too much money for me to get, even though I probably have enough money to buy that figure. But I know, when you see my, I don't want to see my money on Megatron. I do my Megatron. Nope. Sticking with old Screamer here. And so I'm sticking with the, oh, Siege Megatron figure. That's actually, if you want me to review that, want me to review the Siege Megatron figure, comment down below if you want me to review this figure. Anyways, so, Star Dream. Yeah, it's big probably made in 2018 or something. And <coughs> a technician. Um and nothing much. I think no way it does move as well. And yeah, I was gonna move like this. And not really much for the legs. And yeah. Now gonna say uh so yeah, we'll probably because look at the Megatron covers in detail. Green, his NL, his pop, and, and put, and actually put, put his hand like this. So his hands actually kind of like this. Well, you can actually hold, not different is that you can actually, if you actually hold, yeah, like this, you can actually hold the Megatron, hold Megatron and his gun, and gun and this shoe, I find match it. Oh, G1. Um, I'll pop match it. And I guess. Oh, I guess. You know, some uh. And, you know, and some uh. All bots. Um, Transformer Wii. Yeah. That's basically the reason why this figure actually. Is this now the color scheme is kind of G1 after to the cartoon? I think it's decently okay. Also, want to first look at the face, yes, your eyes, and then not oh, different dreams as an original G1. But it actually does actually have painted ish eyes. Mind you, it's not red as the actual game, so I should figure. As one of the content, but it's yeah, decently. Also, cone head, yes, a cone head. Well, that's a little bit different. It's also not part of being a different dream. This in this video, and in my in the video version with you, because in the original video, it's like me doing it myself, then the staunch. Then he goes to start from the 
in the um, character. I actually kind of like. <clears throat> I actually kind of like this G1 Star Trek book. Pretty good. It is pretty good. Also, this. Yep. Yeah, she's just five. Can she? I want to show off the noise. For some reason. Yeah, I don't know why I do that. I don't know why. I just don't know why it does it, but. Yeah, also I the cup, the um, I guess in the cockpit of the cat itself. Yes, yeah, so in this case I lose it. It was a cockpit. This cockpit in. Actually, no, so in this case I don't lose the landing gear. So it's playing the cockpit. Yeah. And of course. So yeah, it's actually official. Yeah, actually because the official transform one. But it's actually on the official. That's pretty fine. It's a bootleg knockoff. And of course, the sign on the stickers, but. Why is bad when the G1 transform figures? I mean, the stickers thing is. was. Like, was in the first thing in the chest. was actually. it does have in the chest in the G1 days. Or G1 days. But of course, some of this. Complain that uh, there's not too much stick on the mon figure. You know, that was his horse. Basically, I kind of doubt if they would complain. And if you <laughs> I kind of doubt if they would complain in that big like, you know, G1. If you actually complain about, if you say that, <clears throat> if you think that, I think it's still not necessary, the stick thing is not necessary. Well, it's kind of is, but mind you, if it was if was it was in G1, was just say in G1, then uh, Polly Power Primes, uh, I think I should just size the pants again. I'm doing one of those things again, am I? Well, I'm gonna try the pants one, two. Oh, then I'm gonna pair this one with two Star Cream figures. <clears throat> Uh, first one we have the, uh, the 2015 level of Sky Star Scream. Two is kind of the same size, actually it's a bit bigger. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, this guy. And now we have the Star Scream, uh, the G1 Star Scream that nobody likes, but is it me? Tell the Star Scream figure, G1 Star Scream figure is kind of, is a bit bigger than that's bigger than this, and yeah, the original drop, G1, Dark Dream, we also have this, G1, that this Dark Dream thing is showing the side color. And I'm just gonna get back to the other side, this Dark Dream thing is back. Oh yeah, if you want me to see you the, the 2015, you also, you are watching this guy's 2015 Dark Dream thing, comment down below. If you want me, if you this guy, Comment down below. Yeah, please comment below if which one, if which transform figure you want to review next. If you want to review the Siege, Metron figure, or the Transformer next week, or the Star Trek figure, your brother Sky, do that for the team, Star Trek, and you want to scan it. Uh, actually, I fix that at the video. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, it's based on my review of the Star Trek, of the G1 Star Trek figure. What I think about it, it's pretty good in my opinion. It's actually pretty good quality, and I kind of like it. <clears throat> well, I do have some problems, but it's still pretty good. Mm, it's slightly memorable, and it's also my first first. So it's my first. G1 figure. Hopefully, I get some decent ones figures instead of buying ones. So, yeah, I'm just going to use, I'm just going to end the video here. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Y'all, let's see you next time. Dream Film, okay? Comment down below which Transformer figures you want me to review next. You know, the ones in the collection video on the channel. <clears throat> so, Dream Film, okay? Please put a picture of it. One, two, on my Patreon. 
Tu es une... Et ça, c'est quoi